the great white hunter is headed out to rid the world of lionfish and feed the family. So, yeah, there is. Maybe like over there. No, there's some rocks. There's rocks over there. That's where I'm swimming to. Not very far from us. And the rest of you are just gonna swim and have fun, right? So first we begin this adventure at Ormis Gialli. It's a teeny little island. We really only came here to hide from the wind for a few days because the winds can be ferocious in this part of Greece. This was actually a very beautiful spot to snorkel also. It feels so good to be able to get off the boat and stretch our legs. This little island, though mostly uninhabited, is home to one of the largest pumice quarries in Europe. Because the island is mostly made of pumice, the rocks here actually float. Get in, girls! So it's been like probably like a minute and 30 seconds since he's gotten off the dinghy and started uh, lion fish hunting and it's uh, pretty boring. So I, off this loft right here, I got me a little friend who's just suctioning to my hand and it's a little more entertaining now. So thanks, thanks, um, thanks Fred for keeping me company. I was only able to spear two lionfish, so of course dinner had to be supplemented. Where are we going this morning? That's a good question. Um, we call it the butterfly island because it kind of looks like a butterfly. Um, I don't remember the name. Rasta, ba, pole, blah, blah, blah. Let's learn the name. Okay. So we don't insult any Greeks watching this? Just let's learn it.
We arrived at Asti Palia yesterday and um, took us about an hour to find an anchorage that was um, less windy, right? It was super windy here yesterday. Um, so it's fairly calm this morning, so we're headed to um, the main port of Asti Palia or Chora as the locals call it. And yeah, we're hoping to get a spot on the quay so that we can wash the boat, do some laundry, and some shopping, and some sightseeing. We heard there's some pretty cool stuff here, so. The island of Astapalea has just over 1,300 residents. The main city and harbor are referred to as the Chora. In Greek mythology, Astypaleia was known as a woman abducted by Poseidon in the form of a winged fish-tailed leopard. But we call it the Butterfly Island because when viewed from satellite, it actually looks somewhat like a butterfly. Let's do highs. Elizabeth, what was your high? <laughs> I was dinner and? not throwing up a fourth time. Not throwing up a fourth time. Maddie, what was your high today? My hand feeling better. Because Becca scolded it with hot water yesterday. Yeah, she smacked it because she, um, it was being bad, so she scolded it. And what was your high, Becca? <laughs> Anytime after we got out of the sailing. After so sailing. like anchoring? It's like anchoring? What did it feel like up in the front of the boat? It was a lot better than trying to get to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> that rug right there, like Maya was saying, is extremely slippery. I like stepped in it and my foot just Is like, that what the, the big slam door. was? No, that was the door. What's my high? That was the camera mom. Was finally anchoring. I did not like this morning's sail. Uh, what did I you liked not like it about when it? I was sitting upstairs all day. Um, yeah. I mean, the weather was great. I but wasn't I'm sick. I got sick. No, it was too windy. And it was too I rolling. felt good when everybody came out. Yeah, Big it rolls. was it was it was one of those that was like Wait. It was like this. It was like this. Sorry, sorry. It was like this. Yeah. Yeah, it made it extremely hard to walk around. No, Becky, it was never like this. It was like this. <laughs> yeah, but it, it didn't, it was, it was like enough that you were like. Mm -hmm. My high was the sail here today. It was challenging, but <laughs> having made it, uh, it's just, it's just, what can the boat do? And then what are we comfortable with? Obviously, we're not comfortable with that level of, also not of yeah, roll. Yeah. And so that was a horrible Isn't on, like, beam. Isn't on like 15 reach. Degrees? 10 degrees. 10 she degrees. put a limit of 10 degrees on angle of heel. That depends on the day. 
Can I, can I put a limit yeah. on the wave height? No. <laughs> you can't. I've already done that. Less yeah, than Mom a meter. Put that. Less than a meter. But there's no I lakes in the Aegean. <laughs> so the there's no lakes to sail. To be like less than 20 I say it has to be dead calm. Less than 20 knots? Yeah. Oh, I agree with that. I think that's okay. okay. We were 20 or less. We were 18, yeah, yeah. Uh, 17 At to 20 point, knots. At one we were going 9 knots. 9 yeah. knots. Yeah. We were oh, doing so 9 geez. knots. I, I, I got up because I heard the jib thing about to switch sides because I thought we were about to... Uh, no. On my bed? That's because they were. But then you never did, and I'm like laying in the middle that of my was, bed, like. <laughs> <laughs> that was me and Maddie. I was so sick. Me and like, Maddie. I didn't. I didn't want to move, me and I was like, "Oh, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna." Uh, I know. I know attack. what happened. You thought we were gonna attack? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna attack and everything. So I like, you know, tossed my pillow to this side, and I was like, "Okay, let me just, what, why are we happening? <laughs> why are, why are we?" And I just like laid there, like, like kind of like halfway attempted to move, <laughs> but not quite yet. That's when we were going nine and a half and then, knots. Yeah, we had to reef the jib, so that's yeah. why I it was- I think we should have gone faster. Yeah, no, my window was getting uh, wet. Water? Before. Inside? Well, it's the first time we've ever had water come yeah. in the bathroom sinks. So mom had to, close the, had to close the drain. drains in the bathroom sinks. <laughs> my high was today, I mentioned, but the other part was, um, Getting to get up to the front of the boat to be able to take some of that video, mm. and <laughs> so you took video. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I went all the way to the bow and then got doused. Twice. <laughs> so I was like, I was he holding that word doused. I was holding the camera, and the bow kept the anchor. The bow would go down just so the wave, the wave was almost hitting the anchor. And I thought, oh, that's beautiful. So I'm sitting there filming it, and then I stopped and I stood up against the jib, right? And I'm holding the camera out this way, looking down at the bow with the anchor. Mm -hmm. And right then the bow came up and a wave went boosh and went completely over the bow and just doused my legs. So I kind of turned like this, you like, see, splashed. Oh, it or splashed, like it wetted, wetted my legs. Yeah, that, that's, that's more appropriate. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And now then, and then as I turned, um, I was just getting ready to shut the camera off and another wave slapped and this time it came up high enough to splash yeah, me and I was like, yeah. wow. So, yeah, so we got some, like, I hope we got some awesome videos. All right, it's time to catch up on some boat chores, get some washing done. Jen and I are gonna go on a little date to get away from the kids. It's a boat date. It's uh, look for a place to fill the propane, um, get groceries, and I think there's a little museum we're gonna check out. While exploring Astapalaya, we found the home of a nice lady here who has accumulated an incredible amount of the island's history and allows visitors to view this incredible journey back into the island's material culture. So we're headed up the hill to the castle, the old castle here in Korda. And we made the girls come with us. 
Becca opted to stay home, but the other two didn't have a choice, so. One of the jewels of Astapalea is the fortified hilltop called Quirini, which was named after the duke who bought the island and built a huge fortified city on top of the island around the 14th century. It's not typical of most castles. Instead of a huge castle wall, the homes were actually built exterior to the hilltop, which created the wall that prevented entry into the area. That was important during this period in time because the Turks were pillaging a lot of the islands surrounding Astapalea and of course Astapalea fell to the Turks eventually. This is a reconstruction for one of the original houses that survived, but they reconstructed the floor and the inside with the ceiling to show the reeds and everything they used to create the roofs and the different rooms. It's really neat. This is pretty cool. You can see the original construction of the roofs of one of the original buildings. So the wood and then the bamboo like I showed you from the other reconstruction. You can see the dirt packed on top and then the tile on top to create the next floor. Pretty neat. The original wall plaster. A feast. We haven't had fresh veggies and stuff for almost a week. And fruit and fresh bread and peaches and cream. Peaches and cream! Yeah. Yum, yum, yum. So I was flying a drone this morning and the winds were only. 11 knots, which isn't a big deal for the drone, but you know, I didn't realize the hill might have been masking the wind. So as soon as I got above the hill, the drone took off over the sea and now uh, I've lost control of it. And so, yeah, <laughs> I think we've lost the drone. We're gonna go on a drone hunt. So unfortunately, here's the last known position just to the uh, side of this area. Poseidon has taken the drone. All right, it's a very, very sad day. Drone recovery mission was not successful. I'm pretty sure Poseidon got it. And the winds blew it offshore because they were so strong uh, up at altitude. So as a pilot, I should have known that. If it's 10 knots down here, it's probably 25 knots, not to mention we're in this part of Greece. So yeah, Jen's making some maple syrup. And maybe she's gonna cook some pancakes or, oh no, she made bread pudding as a consolation, a heartwarming consolation to make me feel better. So I do feel better, but if you'd like to start a uh, GoFundMe to get a new drone. new drone for the stupid sailor drone pilot who should have known better, yeah, just put the link to it down below. Or feel free to just say how stupid I am in the comments below. I'll enjoy reading your comments. Have a nice day. Okay, so we're off again. Um, we're in the middle of the Aegean Sea and we think we're gonna, well, we are. We're gonna head back east where the winds are a little bit lighter 
and and then north and hopefully the the winds will still be heavy but maybe the waves won't be as, as big um the aegean sea has some beautiful places to visit but personally i don't like the wind and the waves that it generates so it's going to be a rough day today for most of us we'll all be seasick Yeah.